Hi everyone, uh, thanks for being here for the presentation of the design and construction of a 300 meter long steel and ETFE roof in Malaysia. I will start with an introduction to the project. Uh, we'll talk about the loading assumptions and the structural concepts uh, proposed and used for uh, this structure, the buildability and installation, and I will finish with a conclusion. Aspen Vision City is a new development in Penang in the north of Malaysia. It comprises um, commercial shop lots, residential buildings, and the first IKEA store in the region. The center of the commercial area is the high street, uh, and it is covered by a 40 meter span and 300 meter long steel and ETFE roof. The ETFE area is 12,000 square meters, which makes it the largest ETFE roof in Malaysia. Uh, the roof provides to the street an outdoor feel without the heat and glare associated with the tropical weather in the region. We can see here uh, an eye rail view uh, of the structure. And here we can see the structure from the street. In terms of support conditions, uh, the roof is supported on the shop lot columns uh, with a typical spacing of 6.7 meters. Uh, we can see on the elevation that uh, at the crossing with inter intermediate streets, uh, the roof level support uh, varies. The design follows uh, British standards. Uh, in terms of loadings, the structure should be able to withstand its own self-weight. Uh, the weight of the ETFE and of the MNE on the structure is estimated to 10 kg per square meter. Uh, the live load is for maintenance, it's 25 kg per square meter. Wind loads um, have been derived following British standards and Malaysian standards. In terms of load combinations, uh, they follow the British standards. Um, for the construction, very limited time uh, was allowed and access below the roof was required uh, during uh, the full time of the construction uh, in order to be able to progress the works below the structure. Uh, so for such conditions, the simplest uh, structural system is to use trusses. So we use trusses spanning uh, 40 meters. Uh, they are spaced at 3 to 3.5 meters. This spacing was defined by... Uh, the ETFE capacities. The initial concept was to use nine separate roofs uh, to accommodate the changes in roof support levels. Um, the first alternative proposal which was made was to use an undulating roof profile in order to create a sense of one space while accommodating the change of roof supports uh, levels. Uh, we've still kept four uh, separate roofs uh, in order to create an aeration uh, between uh, the different roofs to uh, provide more air in the street below. The undulation radius and the position of the undulations have been chosen in order to optimize the ETFE details. So the ETFE details are the same across the 300 meter long of the street. Uh, having 300 meter of uh, succession of trusses can be uh, qu quite noisy and quite industrial looking. So one additional um, alternative proposal that uh, was made was to support the ETFE from the truss bottom cord instead of the more traditional uh, truss top cord. Uh, this enables to have a quiet uh, roof feel achieved across uh, the full length of the street. So we can see on the picture a uh, view uh, of the bottom of the roof. And here are some sections um, uh, showing the ETFE connecting to the bottom cord. The bottom cord then also acts uh, as a gutter, transferring the rainwater from the cushions uh, to the edge beams on the side, uh, which supports the gutter. So the final structural system, uh, we use a built-up section to optimize the steel weight. Uh, the top cord is a built-up I-beam of 200 by 200, and the bottom cord is a built-up I-beam of 380 by 200. Um, the trusses are connecting to the edge beam uh, with pin connections, so uh, slanted columns have been added to create a portal frame effect. Edge beam uh, are rectangular hollow sections, and uh, longitudinal beams have been added and bracing to provide restraint to the truss cords. Um, as I said before, no temporary scaffoldings were allowed because uh, access below the roof was required at all times. So the use of bolted connections uh, was very important on the project. Um, 
So in terms of sequence of fabrication and installation, the truss was fabricated uh, as one in the factory and then uh, spliced uh, in two locations to create three segments. Uh, the splice position was defined in order to be able to transport each truss segment depending on uh, the um, constraints on the dimensions um, of the uh, truss segments to be transported. And then the truss arrived, each segment was arriving on site, assembled on the ground as one truss and then lifted to be bolted to the edge beam. We can see here uh, one truss being lifted and being installed by the workers uh, on the edge beam. And here we can see a view of the roof during the construction where the ETFE installation could progress while uh, the steel uh, was still being installed on the other side uh, of the street. So as a conclusion, two alternative solutions have been proposed, which enable to uh, transform an industrial looking structure into a more elegant structure. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we kept an efficient and easy to build structure, which was uh, cost neutral to the client. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, listening to this presentation and I'm now available for questions.